Hey you guys, it's me Brittany and I'm back with another tutorial. This is going to be um, a head wrap featuring um, the tribal African print head wrap from Heavenly Head Wraps. This scarf um, or this look requires me using my extra long t-shirt scarf from Rapunzel first. So I'm using this as my base. I'm just going to do my traditional um, crisscross turban. You guys have seen me do this so many times. So I'm just going to kind of talk. I'm going to show you how I do it, but I'm also going to be talking um, while I'm doing it and just kind of giving you guys some um, some information about this um, this company. So Heavenly Head Wrap, it's a black woman owned company. She is a Christian and she sews all of her own wraps. She makes everything herself. Um, and uh, she said that while she's sewing, uh, she actually, you know, she's she's quoting scriptures and she prays over all of her head wraps before she sends them out. So all of the head wraps are blessed by a Christian woman who sews and who makes all of her head wraps. Again, I will be using the tribal African print head wrap and it is um, 70 inches by 20, 70 inches long by 22 inches wide. And you also have the option of adding a satin lining to your head wraps. Um, I didn't do it because you guys know that underneath my shaper, I wear a satin head bonnet or a satin head scarf at all times. So my hair is protected. But um, if you don't wear a shaper on, and if you just need something, you know, kind of soft there on your skin, then by all means, go with the option to have the satin lining added to your head scarf. Her prices are incredibly reasonable. I got three scarves for under $50. So the one that I'm showing you again is just going to be the tribal African print, which is this right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And um, I can't wait to show you guys how I do the others. So let me talk you through this part. I'm going to just lean my head forward. And I am putting the, um, the, the head wrap at the base of at the nape of my neck. So we're just going to start from behind and we're going to work our way forward. I want my tails to be as even as possible. And as I wrap, I'm going to pull the top part down. As you see here, just keeping it nice and tidy and nice and neat. And we're going to crisscross there to form kind of like a diagonal, like an angle at the front. You still want some of your green showing because that is the base. Um, that's kind of, you know, pulling everything together. And we're just going to tie behind our heads, behind our buns. And we're going to tuck everything away. Tuck in both of our tails. And then we're going to begin to straighten out the head wrap and um, fit it to your face, fit it to your head, fit it to your liking. At this point, I realized that um, the top of my head wrap just wasn't as tidy as I wanted it to. I love the volume, but it just wasn't as neat as I wanted it to be. So I, um, after checking both sides, <laughs> I realized I didn't care for it that much. So I just took that part down and I tidied everything up. And this is me going back. And I'm going to retie the top just a bit tighter towards, I mean, around my bun. So never around your head because we don't want to have any headaches, but around my bun. And I just tuck in those tails. I have like a little bang left right there. And I'm tucking that away, as you can see here. And that's just um, excess material from the top. But you just push that in and tuck it away and fix everything to your liking and that is perfect that's exactly what i wanted that's the look i was going for it's absolutely beautiful you guys please support this company thank you guys so much for watching bye bye